Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your second half of June love reading. Sorry. <laughs> so this is going to be for the 16th through the 30th. And this goes out to Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what wants to pop out. Yes. Okay, so, first card, wow, right off the bat, Two of Cups in Reverse, followed by the Wheel, the Six of Swords, and the Hanged Man Reverse. So right off the bat, there is a breakup here. Whether you were with somebody or you're just talking to somebody, dating somebody, there is a breakup. Um, there's going to be no more communication with with someone you're seeing, okay? And this is all romantically. Um, and when you break up with this person, you might have learned some lessons from this um experience here, whether it's big or small, but with the Wheel card, the Wheel of Fortune card coming after the Two of Cups, yes, this tells me that there's an ending and a new beginning, but this was a continuation of um, toxic relationships happening, okay? And you're going to realize that here with the Wheel, okay? So closing out that cycle here, and then we have the Six of Swords, you know, and they have their swords with them in the boat, and I like to think of that as, um, you know, the thoughts that you've learned, you're taking them with you, you're carrying them with you, and you're going to imply that somewhere else, okay? And with the Hangman Reverse, it's, you're not going to stay stuck in limbo, you see everything for how it is. And you're going to get your ass out of this tree. Okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wow, and at the bottom of the deck, the chariot. So you're going to move forward no matter what. Um, big or small, I do see you getting over this cancer really fast. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is what I like to see. This is um, the final ending of whoever you were dealing with, okay? Whether this be a long-term relationship, a short-term relationship, it's closing out, and you've learned some things from this relationship. Okay, we have the Star Reverse, King of Wands Reverse, and the Queen of Cups in Reverse. I'm not going to take them, but that's just what came out. So definitely moving on. And I think this is you going to be the one who finally breaks things off here, okay? You're going to be the one who closes the cycle, who finishes what needs to be finished here, okay? And, um, you're gonna feel okay with it, Cancer. Okay, we have the Hermit. So 
you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? But there is an ending here with a Virgo. Or like I was saying, with the Wheel of Fortune, Six of Six of Swords, you learned some lessons and now you're doing some deep reflecting here. You're moving forward, but at the same time you're being more cautious, conscious, and more aware of your next step. Okay, the Hermit is not just all about withdrawing. He is on the move um, to where his intuition guides him, but on the movement, on the way, he is very much thinking heavily and deeply. And we have two counterparts here, actually, Virgo and Pisces, which are opposite signs of each other. So we have Pisces and Virgo here. Yeah, another Pisces card. We have the High Priestess, so listen to your intuition. You are going to be doing that in the month of the end of the month of June, or this is just telling you that you need to um, listen to your intuition here. I felt like while you were with this person, you knew the whole time that there was some suspicious things going on here, okay? And now it's just crunch time. You got to this point where things just fell. You knew it all along, and you probably just let it fell, or just things just took a turn for the worse here, okay? But like I keep on saying, there's a cycle closing out here. Whether this be um, how you're dealing with people or just be a certain person that you were with for a long time. You could have had a family with them and um, you're probably leaving with the kids or with um, another person you met, possibly. Okay. And with this situation happening here, It's taught you some things, Cancerians. It taught you to um, listen to yourself, to take care of yourself, and to make better choices. Okay, I like to see the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit together, because this is some, like, deep closing out that's going on here. This has taught you to listen to your intuition more when it's yanking at you, and to um, do better for yourself. Okay, this whole relationship ending here probably led you to um, find your own path. Okay, maybe you picked up something new, you found something new that you like to do, found a new interest in something, and now you're going towards it because it feels right to you. Whether this be with the person or a creative endeavor. But I feel like you're really getting out there now and doing some soul searching here with the Hermit card. And finding your soul's purpose. Okay, this breakup has caused you leaving feeling like you're flawed. Or leave you feeling like you're um, not good enough. So now you're realizing that you are. And with the Hermit card, you're moving... You're moving, um, and you're being guided by your intuition, and that's what feels right for you. Okay. So even though this relationship ended, doesn't mean it's the end-all, be-all. It gets better anyways, Cancerians. It really does. 
but with the Hermit card here and the Wheel of Fortune, this is a good indication that now you are on the right path. And the Six of Swords too, you're on the right path to align yourself with things that are going to um, be better for you. Just listen to your intuition. It will guide you. And with the Six of Swords, it's you're moving on to brighter days. You're moving away from troubled waters, troubled seas. else wants to come out. Oh, everything wanted to come out. Okay, I'm not going to take these. have the Sun card in reverse. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to find light within the darkness. You are seeing the bright side of things, but like the Hermit, he's in the darkness, but his lantern's the only thing shining light. Okay, the Sun card is still the Sun card. And whatever this breakup was, Okay. Whatever this breakup was or disconnect, whatever it is, um, you do feel down about it, no doubt about it, <laughs> but it's also empowering for you. I get a sense of empowerment because now it was able to align you with your soul's path, okay? It's just that deep inner knowing, and you're excited about it. But with the Sun card here in the Hermit, you are finding your light and moving through the darkness to, to reach more of that light, if you get what I mean here. So with the Six of Swords, you're you're moving on to calmer waters, you're moving into the light, but right now you're still in the fog. You're still in the fog, you're still in the dark, but, you know, we had the chariot at the bottom of the deck, you're still... You're still persevering. You feel like you found your path now, from this breakup, it's taught you things. Alright, Cancerians. Have a good one. Bye.